Hello VC, I'm back to make another video on recent uh, albums that have arrived in the mail for my collection. But before I start, I was just wondering if I ever showed you guys uh, a picture of my future trophy wife. Uh, there she is here. I'm just trying to train her not to leave pizza crusts and empty beer bottles in the bed at night. Hopefully that works out. So, one other item I want to just touch upon, as probably everybody in the VC is aware of, and that's where the Apollo Masters uh, company burnt to the ground. I think it was February 6th, uh, there in Manning, California. And so, for those of us who buy new vinyl, which includes me, new releases, um, there might be an impact because, of course, Apollo Masters uh, made about 75 to 80% of the... Uh, lacquer discs that were used in the manufacturing of uh, vinyl records uh, through the cutting process so uh, there's going to be a shortage of lacquer with um, now that that company's burnt down and what my concern is is that uh, music companies that um, sort of hold the rights to the real big super groups like the Beatles, Zeppelin, Stones, Tina Wanna Brass they're going to get their hands on all the existing uh, master discs out there and for the small independent uh, bands who you know press 200 uh, copies of a record and try and sell it on Bandcamp they might be out of luck so um, that's kind of sucks we'll have to see what happens hopefully it gets all sorted out in uh, time anyways I'll start with showing some um, of the recent uh, arrivals the first three are reissues, um, and uh, we'll start off with this one. This is sort of like a, a novelty um, record that I thought I would just buy for some fun. Yeah, watch the smoke rings rise in the This is a reissue of the um, original dot pressing from 1967. I think the reissue is a limited to a thousand copies. It's uh, in uh, sort of this pink vinyl and um, it, um, if you could see the hype sticker, it was mastered at 45 RPM. So this LP spins at 45 RPM. Um, I just bought a sort of as a novelty. There's no any no tracks that really stand out or anything like that. But I find it's always interesting when um, you have like actresses who sort of release a music album, though they're not really musicians. Like a very good example of that is Peggy Lipton, who was an actress in the Mod Squad series. She put out a record. So a friend of mine called me up and wanted to know if I wanted to uh, go with him to the record store in Toronto. And uh, I said, yeah, sure, I'll take along. Now, my friend, he's predominantly looking for CDs, not vinyl. And the store that uh, he always goes to has a huge collection of CDs, both new and used. And they have a pretty good selection of uh, vinyl, new and used. And so while he was checking out, looking for his CDs, I was sort of scanning the used vinyl uh, section. And I came across this record. Um, this is uh, a reissue in that it is not the original Stax pressing, it is the Atlantic pressing. The record was in excellent shape. It was priced pretty reasonable, so I picked it up. We then went to another record store after that, which is uh, was 100% uh, vinyl. I'm uh, not sure if they had any new vinyl, a lot of used vinyl. And I came across this one, which again is a, a reissue 
of uh, a yards bird uh, record. First record I ever obtained that is on the Charlie label, and so we get into um, new records now that have uh, received, and um, the first one here is by the New Candies. I'm um, just reading the hype sticker here, limited to 500 uh, pressings. I believe this is the one that's um, 33 RPM on one side and uh, 45 RPM on the other side. And actually, these are numbered. This is number 29 of 500. The new candies are uh, sort of situated in uh, Venice, Italy. The next album is by from Rick Bain. There's a track on here called Keep It Glowing, and perhaps that's why uh, I think the first 75 uh, pressings had a sort of glow in the dark sticker that came with it. The next record to arrive by a band called The Janitors. <laughs> album to arrive and is this one here. It's got a few things uh, in the Some posters and that. I'll show that later. Small. 
And the uh, last record is the Cult of Donald Keller. A, uh, two record live recording a little bit lo-fi um, still a, a good record I believe um, this one which I think was uh, Cardinal Fuzz I, I believe it sold out now I think it was 250 copies anyways that's what I've had come in the mail in the last few weeks so as always thank you for watching and have a great day